<laughs> How we doing? Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. Yeah. I'd like to just... think we're doing good. <laughs> no worries. It was doing that for me last <laughs> time, and then good. when we watched the video back, it was all set, even though it did that to me. So we should be okay. Uh, well, we as people, I, I'd like to think are doing well, but um, some characters got pretty rough treatment last time when they went down into the Dungeon of the Dead 3. Whatever do you um, mean? <laughs> uh, so I think just so we have maximum time to get through the rest of this dungeon today, hopefully, uh, we'll jump right in with the recap. So... The Dungeon of the Dead 3 is located beneath a bathhouse in the uh, northern portion of the lower city of Baldur's Gate. And your group, your family, followed, uh, accompanied by Yinlin, decided to uh, head right down after commandeering the Uncivil Serpent. This dungeon below the bathhouse parts of the area are you found were flooded with some very foul smelling water uh which was later determined to be a little bit of uh runoff from crack due to cracks in the wall down below and uh cracks in the sewer system and as you made your way through, you found some secret passageways that brought you to uh, an altar of uh, Baal, the god of murder, and a, and a corpse that had been uh, killed a number of days, as far as you know, before you came down. And as well as doors that had a full... Uh, body image of each of the de these dead three. You fought your way through uh, some cultists of almost every time so far uh, to some dead ends. And after freeing uh, the first of the unknown amount of prisoners named uh, Klim Jasso, one who is a member of one of the three head fit like head families within Baldur's Gate. Uh Jasso, Venthampur and or Venthampur and the Othun families being those three respectively. Uh you decided to keep going. However, unfortunately, the direction you chose uh was deadly to say the least. After surprising a necromancer in the middle of studying a corpse and killing her prized skeletal rat swarm, uh, she turned around and cast a necrotic version of Fireball at your level 2 party, which not one person unconscious and outright killed another. You're able to successfully deal with this person before rushing out and seeking the aid of the only person in town that has any form of authority that you know of, Captain Zaj. Zaj was able to pull some strings uh, and used your, I, did, I was looking at the math again, your entire payment for this mission uh, to bring back Violet from beyond the grave. And we now start on board the Uncivil Serpent. She does have a minus four penalty to just about everything that will go away one point at a time as each day goes by. Is there anything that uh, anyone in the family or Yinlin would like to do within these four days as she recovers? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Nah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to tell you which characters would like to do things, because I'm not in this okay. game. The characters are. Um, <laughs> uh, Bo. Now that he has a little bit more money, 
uh, would like to head back. I believe Helena has all the money, but Bo would like to head back to the weapon shop. Okay. Okay. Uh, go see and Angus. And yes, go see Angus in the we weapon shop. Yes. So he will do that. Uh, and Violet will still make the trek back to her uh, friend there with the skull. Okay. Um, so she she's okay. She's going with she's got the skull uh, and she's was it was only a gold left for that. Okay. Anything mm -hmm. for Chant or Helena? No, I think they're they're good. They're gonna chill. Okay. Uh, let's start with Violet. I'm back. Oh, you're she, back. She holds up the skull. I have what you need. I thought you were just gonna come back with like some, you know, something like this big, and he holds up his fist. <laughs> uh, you don't know me I very suppose well yet. I can make. Ugh. Oh, it's clean. Looks it you. was burned clean. Just... He just looks at you. Just, what did you want for this exactly? I want you to set this. And she holds up her, the diamond she uses for chromatic orb. Mm -hmm. Within the skull. Socket, jaw, where do you want it? Surprise me. The hole in the back of this head from some damage no okay uh and sure and he's good at what he does so it'll only take him uh maybe an hour to set up the little anchor pieces to keep it rigid in place uh but you hand him the last piece of gold when it's finished and you now have a skull with a diamond in one of the eye sockets that'll do thank you <laughs> she flips him two gold. Ooh. Uh, also. Do you know where I could go if I want to get this enchanted further? Let's see if they will know. No. I just carve and sell my art. All right. Well, thank you again. Maybe I'll be back someday with more body parts. And she walks away. She just looks around to see if anybody else heard that. <laughs> uh, Bo, you are at Angus Smeltborn's blacksmith shop. What are you Angus. hoping to purchase? Angus. Oh, if it isn't Bo. <laughs> That's right. A little bit uh, heavier pockets today. Aye. Uh, just checking in on some prices here. I uh, really only perused your collection last time. Prices vary depending on what you're looking for. Just eventually a stronger version of this. And he holds out his glaive. Well. For a basic enchantment, I do have to commission all that work, but be 400. It's a big weapon. Gotta enchant yeah. the entire thing. That makes sense. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, can I put a down payment for some of that now? And uh, 
give it the rest when I actually come back with the weapon to allow that to happen. How much are you looking to put down? I put a hundred down. Persuasion check. Not with Helena. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very big difference. Uh, that is an eight. Ten minus okay. two. Okay. Oh boy. Big ol' eight. Uh, I don't know. That's only a quarter of the cost. Usually we're looking for a bit closer to 50%. Yeah. I think I could make do with uh, with 150. That's fine. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, thought I'd be there for a minute. Uh, yeah, I can do 150. That's fair. All right. Um, pick one out over there. There are uh, three plus one blades. And uh, one of them just, like, yours is kind of like the standard run-of-the-mill blade on the end of a stick. No intricate carving. There's a, there's a one that's the exact same way, only it has the enchantment on it. Another that has, it's a uh, black iron blade, but has okay. uh, a silver edge from where they sharpened it. Uh, and the sure. other, there's uh, just a standard standard blade, but there's an intricate carving of vines running down the uh, the handle of the weapon. Oh, I like that one with the vines. It's a good choice. Ugh, and he walks over, picks it up, and carries it behind uh, the counter. And sets it on a rack that has uh, a couple other weapons uh, with a little sign that says reserved. I'll be excited to come get it. Uh, I'll wait your return. Thank you again. And uh, if there's nothing else for anybody, uh, we'll expedite to those four days. Uh, do you wish to, uh, what time of day, excuse me, do you wish to return to the bathhouse? Daytime again, or do you want to wait because you've been in there uh, till nighttime? Because uh, you've already been seen going in and out once. What do you think, Yinlin? Going at night? Yeah, I think going in nighttime this time wouldn't be too bad. All right, we'll scope it out first. Make sure I don't get anybody else waiting at night. Mm -hmm. Um, can we? Can I roll like a perception check around the bathhouse? Yeah, Just, actually, uh... if you want to, um, if you want to do perception or investigation, so you can scout the place out while they're while the downtime is going. Well, they're someone both help... a one for me. Can so. someone help him with that, or he can he help somebody else with that? Am I? Uh, oh, we're good. <laughs> I was going to say, Chant could assist because he's not doing anything. That's so, all right. He got himself in a roll. Uh, yeah, during those four team. days, like, I kind of, like, scope it out at nighttime, see what the situation gotcha. is. Uh, so the bathhouse closes at 6 o'clock. Uh, but all the employees leave. However, you do still see the flickering of candlelight. Uh Turn, uh, come back up, uh, and you see shadows moving about inside the bathhouse. They seem to move more freely about the bathhouse at night. Maybe, Maybe daytime is a bit. Yes, yeah, so I was just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. We, we already know who's going to be in there. All right, daytime it is. A, uh, I think there's like a code that we have to say when we go in to get in there, but without causing a distraction. <laughs> Do we have like, a code before to get in there? Can I walk up to the person in? in the massage room? 
Well, we like caused a huge distraction, right? We like cannonballed and the thing. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think uh, they might remember us though. So like, if we we'll walk just, uh... in, we're like peanut butter. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, I'll just have Bo walk in first. I think Bo would just lead the group and just give a look and yeah. kind of nod. Uh, Does he recognize the first group person with Bo in front? Yeah. Uh, you're very hard to forget. Let's be real. Yep. Um, and I mean, Portals, a Kenku, and a dude that has white hair and a scar in his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's every I day. In, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's every day in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Uh, you walk in, uh, and the both of the uh, masseuse that took care of Bo and Violet before just look at you, and then just look at the room, and walk a uh, step back <laughs> as you just walk through. Uh, uh, open the Helena, door again. Helena quickly takes Violet aside. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You're taking this healing potion. And you're going to be as defensive as you can. I know you can handle this. I'm going to be fine, Mom. <laughs> she reluctantly takes the healing potion. And it does not seem like she is going to be any more careful unless her mother forces her to. Okay. You make your way downstairs. Uh, and what is everyone's passive perceptions? Um, <laughs> All of them? I'll just tell you the highest. <laughs> Chant has a 14. Violet has a 9. Elena has an 11, and Bo has and a 14. Okay. Uh, because they rolled terribly, uh, as you wake your way down, stepping into that murky water, you hear... little splashes of water, and then footsteps in the room that you're in. Uh, as... Come on now. Okay. You look around, and in three out of the four corners of the room, there are three spiders just staring at, at your group. Excellent. Are they just staring, or are they like... They're staring and skittering about on their back onto their webs as your group coming uh, down, it splashing in the water uh, seems like it startled them a little bit. Okay. It's just... Uh... Let's just move calmly. Stay, stay to the sides. Stay away from them. We kind of know where we're going this time, right? Yeah, I think we need to go back uh, and get further into where we had already arrived, um, where everything happened yeah. last time. Uh, making sure point, to um, check. I... Good. I was going to say, I point down this corridor, and I say, like, that, the, these both take us to that one way. This way is easier, right? Did we figure out where the other path went? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you opened the door to the north, and you were disappointed that it brought you back to the starting room. Gotcha. It was the hand that had the symbol of Baal on it. Yeah, Bane, I guess so. Whichever one. Uh, I can... Uh, too many I'll bees. bring you guys back to the room. <laughs> so bring you back here. Do the spiders just ignore us? And uh yeah, they uh they just watch and you pass by. There's a couple other spiders that are now uh you've cleared out these rooms so gotcha. they're less active uh overall. Uh so the spiders have started moving in. 
Now, something that I forgot to mention was that there's also a door on this right side of the room that you are all in now. You can go back the way that you uh, started going before encountering a fireball, or you can go through this door. Okay. Um... I want to go back and make sure that woman is dead. I agree. Okay. Uh, Helena will be right behind Bo. Bo is still leading the charge, but she is on a mission. For the sake I'll be of up moving, there as well. For the sake of moving, I'll just move you all there. Uh, you go into the room, uh, and uh, there we go. That's fine. I just have to adjust. Uh, you go into the room, and there's just she's essentially turned into just a pile of bones at this point, even though it's only been a uh, handful of days. Yeah. However, um, uh, on her body, because you were out really, uh, you were heading out as soon as possible, uh, you find another book within this pile of bones and robe. Uh, it is made of black leather and has a tiny skull-shaped looking mechanism uh, attached to it that looks like a lock a uh, skull-shaped okay. locking mechanism that's what I meant to say hmm. okay. interesting I will take that and Helena takes it and puts it in her bag. Mm-hmm. Uh, and actually, Ch Chance just passive investigation because he's always looking all over the place. He finds a key just in the really, really frail strands of hair uh, that looks... that Also, the head of the key uh, looks like a little skull, so it would match the lock on the spell book. He holds it up. Oh, yeah, I still have that chain, right? What was that, Zig? Do I still have that keychain? Yes, you still have that keychain. Uh, all of those keys are too big for this book. Uh, uh, the book's lock. I see. We don't have time for what that could lead us into right now. <laughs> Let's take care of what we're here for and get out. Okay. Good plan. Uh, go ahead and move whatever token you want to be taking point. Um, though, definitely just a so. friendly reminder, as we found out after she died, Violet has dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. Um, but Bo's still going to leave the charge. Light. Yeah. Light's still up? Okay. Yeah. Well, up again, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Not still up from I, five I days like, prior. <laughs> yeah, just give him like a torch or something and light it. Longest lasting cantrip I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Bo definitely wants to lead. Violet's going to be in the middle of the pack. There we go. Violet's Chant will, ta Chant will take up the rear. Has dark okay. Okay. Gonna continue okay. on. Um, do you want? Okay. Do you want to continue down this hallway because it does? Um, it does go down and then around, as you can see. Or do you want to go back up into the partially flooded room into the other door? Have we not gone through the other door? No. I thought this was the third door. Uh, this third oh, door. Oh, right. This Sorry, is, you uh, mean where we, get, where we found the, the other man yeah. before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go check that out first. Okay. Uh, 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 so this door is not locked. Uh, but you do see the water, like the very bottom of this door is completely rotted away as the water is flowing uh, underneath it. So the ne the next room over, you, you would assume, is also flooded. Okay. Uh, we're not up there yet, are we? Nah. Okay. But um, uh, I'll move Bo you guys will, up there. Right Bob will open the door. Take a look inside. Okay. 
I'll move you and Yunlin up there, so that way you both can see. Okay. And stepping into the room, just to so that way you, again, so you only so you can see. Um, <laughs> so the ceiling of this room, or of this flooded room, is supported by, as you can t tell, numerous uh, wooden beams. Uh, however, the air here smells like rotten eggs. It's a putrid stench that stench that uh, you got a little bit of a whiff of as you were standing at the door, but um, give me is... a survival yeah. check from both Yinlin and uh, Bo. Survival? Okay. Yes. Bo rolling a... An 11. Yinlin. Uh, Bo's got a 9. You, um... Oh, yeah. Uh, luckily, Yinlin's with you. Because he, you know that that stench is an indicator of flammable gas within this room. Uh, so, luckily, you're using the light cantrip and not a torch. Yeah. Um, I kind of just, like, down low, talk to Bo, and I'm like, the air here is flammable. All right. It just seem, doesn't seem dangerous to breathe in so far. So let's uh, let's do this. I'm okay with pressing forward. Yeah, let's Can let's just stay right? stay to the walls and uh, check us and keep keep looking ahead as we go. Yeah, uh, you know there's. Um... There's three exits from this room. Uh, to the north, it goes to um, a, a smaller, more closed-in room, uh, partially collapsed. There's a... The water keeps going through a um, eastern exit of the room, a little above you. And then if you walk... After walking about 10 feet along the bottom wall of the room, mm -hmm. you find a set of stairs that go up into dry land. And as you get closer to those stairs, the scent slowly fades away. So it seems like that gas is concentrated in this lower uh, room, flood already flooded space. There's other rooms or other spaces leading out of that room above, though, right? Um, so or the room that... that's there, the... Sorry, this like pass up in this passageway yeah. here... Yeah. That goes into an uh, another elongated room with an okay. exit at the end, and then up here is just a closed-in space that's been partially collapsed. Okay. Well, we're already in the water. We might as well stay in it for a minute. Okay. So they'll go uh, down that other path. To keep everybody together, I'm going to pull the rest of the family over. Yep. That means the fights are coming. Also, this is just a really big map. Yeah, I got you. You're fine. <laughs> okay, uh, so you guys are heading into the, the the eastern flooded room. Yep. Uh, the smell of the of rotten eggs stays within this space that you go into. Uh, okay. You see, there are three more pillars supporting the ceiling until you get down to the southern end here and there are the scent starts to fade and there are stairs going up to another dry area all right while we're here let's carry through they'll just kind of take a look into each doorway as they're going down and see what they get okay just a glance in first and if it looks interesting at all we'll check it out uh, much of the uh, so you can go ahead and start walking um, okay. there are you'll see a door uh, gotcha. one more step yep uh, this door is actually should be uh, slightly open it is not uh, this door is slightly open and okay. but you're able to see that it is a, a partially collapsed crypt 
like room uh, oh. as there's debris mostly burying a stone sarcophagus that is broken open and looks to have been looted long ago as it's empty. Chant, keep an eye behind us. Champ begins to walk like uh, partially backwards, kind of facing away from the group to make sure nothing approaches them from behind. Okay. Uh, uh, those... As you keep yeah. walking... Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. You're, You're going down the hallway more? Yeah. Uh, you go in, you go down, and there's two doorways. One to the north and one to the south. Hmm. Uh, Bo will check out the north door. He'll make sure it looks okay first. Uh, give me a first... Give me a perception check okay. on the north door. All right. Uh, okay, one from each of you if you're less listening or... Uh... This is a wise, wise one. Natural Ooh, 20 on my and a, and a 15 for Bo. Okay, Bo, uh, you hear absolutely nothing coming from behind this door, except uh, as you are feeling around it, uh, you get the sense that this door is actually holding back a, like a lot of weight so maybe uh, maybe whatever was behind the door collapsed and if you open the door it'll flood the hallway uh yinlin there is no sound coming from behind your door however you do slight you hear the sound of uh moaning coming from down the hallway a little bit as Bo, you look and you see there is another one more door that goes off to the off to the side of the hallway. Is this other spot just uh, a... moaning? Oh, there's another door down there too. So, okay. yeah, there's another door uh, right there, and that's where Yinlin, you're hearing the moaning and just like shuffling about from behind the door. Uh, I hear some moaning coming from this door up here. All right. Kind of, it's kind of just like. Uh, I don't think we need to look for fights, but I would like to know what we're voices. dealing with. Is there a way yeah. to? Let's, let's see. Uh, Bo kind of gestures for Elena to come closer. Does she have any way of like determining what she might be hearing beyond just moaning? Like more specific than that. Um, by listening. You can give me a Arcana? Okay. So, sounds like there's That's a, a natural some one. humans back there. Yeah. Sounds like there's some humans back there that are moaning yeah. and shambling about. Yeah, sounds like some people shambling about. Uh, we don't really know... Um, much detail about what's in here. We might as well do what we can. Bo, uh, how about this? How about we uh, we open the door and just throw some firepower in there? Oh, firepower! I can do that. <laughs> Uh, you said at this point we don't smell the gas anymore? No gas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Bo will get ready to open the door, and Violet is going to be ready to cast a, uh, just a firebolt in at whatever she sees first. I will also be ready with a, uh, Eldritch Blast. Say that you guys are like that. Chant still at the back? Yeah, he's still watching behind. Okay. Then we'll do that. Uh, Bo, you... Uh, being the cautious individual that you are, you take your mm -hmm. glaive and you kind of just like hit the door a few times, uh, hoping that it'll... Shoot. I have to zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Uh, and eventually the door, you do start to get a crack and you're able to pry the door open. 
Uh, and inside this room, there are six moaning humans with rotting flesh that shamble about this dusty crypt that reeks of death. Oh, in, uh, in the back of the room, there is a stone sarcophagus resting against the back wall. Uh, it has a shattered lid laying in pieces on the floor. Uh, I'm going to need everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> yeah. I got a button now. Has. Hey. Ah, uh, yeah, you should have a you should have a button as well. Uh, Zeus. He might have to set it up himself. Remember. Mmm. Right. Yeah, he's hey. only got one sheet to work with, though. It's not so bad for him. That's that's true. Ooh, roll twenty <laughs> is loading real slow. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oof, that is some prime initiatives. Are they get they get their spells out first though, I imagine? Yeah, uh this is to set up initiative for combat and the surprise round. So Great. uh Yenlin, you get your Eldritch Blast off and you can say that you can see the you'll only both be able to target the first one. Okay. Yeah, I'll shoot it at him. 23. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. Boop. Uh, oh. And he gets pushed back. He gets pushed back 10 feet. <laughs> um, Let's see. Check one thing here. What's your spell save, DC? Okay, so it uh, gets shoved into uh, this zombie behind it, who kind of like and pushes it back forward towards you. Uh, Violet, I'm throwing that firebolt out. Let's okay. see. Uh, oh, I was going to say, you do technically have surprise on this thing, so the 11 would hit. Hey. You want to see if you crit on your Eldritch Blast there, Yinlin? <laughs> it's a big two damage with the fire, by the way. Big two. Big old two. Oh, no, not not minus eight. Minus two. After that 12 okay, Eldritch, Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast damage, but... too. That's a lot of damage. It's still standing? Let's say if I crit, there's a chance that I don't get, uh... I don't do as much damage. Yeah. Uh, I would have had you just roll an extra d10, or, uh... I would have had you re-roll the whole damage. Uh, so, uh, that brings us to Chance. You're at the top of initiative, but the back of the lineup. Uh, yeah, not much he can do from there. Um... <laughs> Does he want to check out the other room? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's a great call during combat. Uh, does he think that, though? Let's find out. Let's say uh, we're gonna, he's going to roll a die. Heads, he'll open roll it. Roll for curiosity. Tails, not so much. <laughs> Heads is one, I should say, before I roll it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's curious, huh? Okay. Uh... Yin Lin said there was nothing behind. He didn't hear any sounds. And as Chant uh -huh. walks up, opens the door, you're greeted with an empty room. Uh, other than a open sarcophagus that stands at the back of this dusty crypt, its heavy stone lid lying on its side between the sarcophagus and the south wall. The north gonna... facing side of the sarcophagus bears a faded fresco of spear-wielding warriors charging across golden plains on horseback. He's gonna close the door and back up slowly. <laughs> uh, okay. He will ready uh, just, a, just a punch. And ready an attack action for if something happens to get, make its way to him somehow. 
Okay. This zombie is going to make a poor decision and attempt to hit the barbarian. No, that's a 15. So uh, you just kind of step as it just slowly tries slams the ground in front of you. Uh, and hearing the commotion, all of the others are going to slowly make their way up as well. Elena, you unfortunately can't uh, see uh, what's going on. Okay, she will uh, throw an inspiration to her husband there. Okay. You hear a little lovely flute sound once again, and Bo uh, just kind of braces himself in place, ready to go. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Yinlin. Um, alright. Um, I'm gonna sh shoot another Eldritch Blast at this guy that's right in the doorway. You will have disadvantage. Due to oh, because he's right there, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't really have any weapons. <laughs> and by that, I mean... I have a crossbow, which is also a ranged thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'll hit him with a sacred flame. Okay. What is your DC? 13. 13. Uh, that's, that's a 7. No damage. That's a 7. Uh, so it takes the full brunt of this, and it just, like, sears across its face. It's like... <clears throat> Uh, and turns and looks at you because you're the one who it's, it came from your direction at the very least. Yeah. However, we'll see if it gets to do anything because Bo, it's your turn. Uh, can Bo um, in, in using his glaive to kind of stab his way through here uh you know what? Maybe, maybe not as glaive. Let, let me think. Think on this one for a second. Uh, he has a trident as well. Mm -hmm. He'd probably get more uh, points of leverage. Can he, like, as he's stabbing, just try to like charge and just try to knock back? Ooh. Okay. The horde Let's see here. If you hit. Let's see if you hit with the attack and then. Okay. Uh... I would call that two-handed, I think. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be two-handed. <laughs> yeah. That's a 21. That'll definitely hit. <laughs> and then let's see the damage on it. Okay. It's 11 piercing. <laughs> uh, so you stab this thing right in the center of the chest okay. uh, and it starts to claw out at you as you eventually see the unlife uh, fade from its eyes. Okay. And give me a uh, strength check. Sure. Or athletics. Uh, it's the same, so he's not proficient. Yeah. Uh, so 18. You are able to uh this zombie gets pushed back on top of the sarcophagus. This one gets pushed back. This one gets pushed back. Uh, you have a zombie shish kebab on your, tr uh, on your trident, and you can either be um, in the doorway, or you can be on this first tile in the room. Oh, he's, he's right up there with him. He's ready to go. Okay. I will move this away, this, this token away, so it's Ooh, there's more in not here. in the way of things. Yes, got a you, now are, you now see there are a total of five left. Uh, any bonus action, or are you going to stake uh, Oh, he's going to stake... Mm, you know... He's going he's gonna to realize that he wants to be a little more uh, beefy, and he's going to rage. Okay. Yeah. Brings us to violent not violent well maybe she is usually is violet <laughs> she's certainly violent uh violet will uh step in to, she'll she'll step to here so she can see uh can mm -hmm. she see them all behind all three of those 
Uh, the straight line behind, uh, ahead of Bo, yes. Excellent. Uh, what is the range on this spell? I can't remember. Fantastic. So the five feet radius from it? Yeah. She's gonna cast Ice Knife on the one in the back. And you know what? No, the, the one back? in the middle here. Sure. So that way she can hit both of the other two as well. Okay. With the effect, and it won't hit Bo. Uh, so that is coming up in chat eventually. This is a 22. That'll definitely hit. That'll hit. Uh, go ahead and roll the damage. I believe yeah, the ice knife has to make a deck con save. save. Yeah, it's deck decks. save. Only one. Wait, why does it say no cold damage? Oh, they wouldn't take the cold damage. If they fail. Or if they <laughs> well, she rolled a one on her damage. So, one piercing, and if they fail, six cold each. Yes, uh, all four of the zombies in the blast radius yes uh fail uh so they are all looking a little worse for wear especially the one in the middle who took an extra single point of piercing damage <laughs> uh violet will turn <laughs> towards her mother and do a little like curtsy uh, and then back off into the corner <laughs> Okay. Chant. Uh, Chant doesn't want to be in the back anymore. Uh, so that'd be 10, 20, 25. He can get to here, right? Yes. Uh, that's yeah, he's got 40 movement, movement, so he's still got more. But can he still throw his dagger past yeah. bow? Cool. I know it's a tight space, so the reason I ask. So Chant will, I guess if she could have thrown a knife, then I already had my answer. <laughs> yeah, he's going to throw it. It is the same damage thrown, correct? Isn't yes, that all the same, same stats, damage though? thrown. He's just going to throw uh, it at the first one. And I think you have it, you have at least a 20-foot range for no no disadvantage. Yeah. So, yeah. Let, okay, let's see it. Just read the one right in front there. It's a 26 to hit. Yeah, <laughs> that'll hit. Uh, and he throws it nice and hard for uh, eight piercing damage. Nice. It just hits right in the throat, and it's just like... <laughs> add bow as it gets ready to swing. <laughs> uh, oh, he can do that again. You have anything? Um, he only has one dagger. Mm, Plus, yeah, he only one attack. dagger. Yeah, 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 yeah I got you. That's fine. He will uh, step into this space to leave room, though. Okay. Uh, Bo has three attacks coming his way. Alrighty. Boom, boom, boom. One of them connects, and he okay. takes... You're raging, right? Yes, he is. Uh, six reduced to three bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. Elena. Elena will. Uh, I just want to move up. I'm out of the sarcophagus. I'm move up. He's very much not a damage dealer at this point. <clears throat> uh, she will use some. She doesn't want to get in the way here. Oh, well. <laughs> She'll squeeze her way past the inland. And she'll aim at the same one in front of Bo with some vicious mockery. So, needs to make that wisdom save or take three psychic. Uh, you get the gist that it doesn't fully understand what you're saying, but it 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 knows what your intent is, uh, and it kind of just like shakes its head a little bit as it takes the three points of psychic damage. Okay. Uh, she then squeezes back a little more past... sad than before. <laughs> <laughs> she squeezes her way back past Yinlin with the rest of her movement to so give him room to get in. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Yinlin, you are up. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, God. <laughs> 
All right. Um, I am going to throw a guiding bolt at that fella there. The okay. one in the center of the room there. Yeah, you can just make him out. That'll be should be good. Oh, no. funny, baby. Ow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, holy God. God. <laughs> All right, oh, we're going to do 36 God. damage to 36. him. Level two. <laughs> Level two. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, as you just, you point, hold out your hand and you start concentrating on the Guiding Bolt. Uh, and all of a sudden it gets bigger than you anticipate and it just... Oh no. <laughs> like, there's a kickback from you uh, throwing out this massive of a Guiding Bolt and you just watch as it hits. There's no splatter or anything. This zombie just... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he didn't make that save, um, huh? I think that's the. Uh, I think that's gonna do it. Okay. Bo, we're back to uh, you. Bo, seeing this, just smiles. Uh, and he's gonna turn to the one that hasn't been hit yet next to him. He's gonna swing out with the uh, with the glaive. Yeah, it's looking back healthy, around. relatively speaking. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if he can change that. That definitely changes 18. its situation. <laughs> An 18 to hit. Let's see that damage. Oh, there's a nice little roll. 13 slashing. With I do like that. Two rage two on top rage of that. Two rage actually so brings it. Yeah. Thoroughly bloodied. That's all they can do. Violet with chant on deck. Violet will pop into the window again. Uh, not window. Into the uh, opening. She's like. And mm -hmm. she'll she'll launch a fire bolt in. Same one she attacked last time is not looking so great. Uh, center or sorry, uh, the front right. the the one in front of Bo. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Let's see, that'll hit. Let's see the damage. Let's see if she can get rid of this fella. That's better. Seven fire. Let's see. Seven fire it hits it and it starts to fall down before it head its head just oh. snaps back right. up unfortunately the uh seems to yeah, have been able zombies. to hold off <laughs> it's so it's got so much fortitude oh she would have walked back behind chant again mm -hmm. uh, uh chant. what is chant up to now that he's out of ranged options uh he's gonna run in and uh, can he get this one in the corner from this position? Yeah. Chance okay. and little hands. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to punch it. He's going to punch it twice. Well, he'll punch it. Yeah, he'll punch it normal twice. No, uh, no flurry. It's a okay. 22 and a 23. Uh, go ahead and... Yeah, those both hit. Let's see if the first one kills it, I guess. That's seven damage. Let's see if the first one kills it. <laughs> uh, you chant clocks this one right in the side of the face. Uh, there's a little bit of zombie left on the um, essentially hot topic studded belt. Uh, things attached to your knuckles uh, and the head just spins around before the zombie falls to the, falls to the ground. He just says, murder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, can he uh, squeeze past Bo for that other attack to get over here? Yeah, and that, yeah, and we'll use the same attack roll. Go ahead and roll damage for... Uh... Sweet. That's another six piercing. Which is minimum damage. <laughs> uh... You hit the head, trying to make it fall down, but it just looks right at Chant. Uh, 
It's still holding on. Yep. And then one attack against both Chant and Bo. Okay. Uh, that is a 12 against Chant and then a 20 against Bo. A 20 will hit. Uh, so you take Sitch reduced to three bludgeoning again. Alrighty. He just grins at all these. Hel- Brings us back to Helena with Yinlin on deck. She's gonna pull the same thing again. She's gonna squeeze into the opening. She's gonna throw a vicious mockery again out at the same one. She's gonna die. Why won't you die? With two psychic. Unfortunately. It just, like, cocks its head after she'll, taking the psychic damage. She'll just go this way this time. <laughs> Yenlin. Well, there's a nice guy right here that was in that same spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fire an Eldritch Blast at him. 18. Oh, yeah. Q. Nine. Nine. Nine points of damage. That's a big chunk of damage there. I won't push him this time. He can stay there. I'll <laughs> allow you to stand where you want to stand. Yeah, you get to stay. <laughs> uh, Bo. Yeah. He's gonna just keep on swinging. This one in front of him. Now he, uh, he's mad. One of ways I started smashing. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the glaive. Okay. We have 19 to hit. Let's hope. Let's see That'll a little more damage hit. than they were doing. Oh, yeah. 16 <laughs> damage? <laughs> yeah, uh, it... Oh, it was really close. It rolled a 20 on its con save, but it needed a 21. Jeez. Uh... Bo will uh, step onto its body and mm-hmm. stare down the one in front of him. It does not look intimidated in the slightest. Maybe it's because it's a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Violet will... Violet then Shen. Violet will sneak her way to here. Uh, not daring to test her mother's patience and go any further. And she will... You know what? Let's have more fun. She'll cast Infestation this time on the one that has not been attacked yet. Okay. What type of damage is As Infestation? As a reminder, Infestation is poison damage. Uh, all these bugs start crawling actually out from the body of the zombie, flying around its head, hey. biting into it, unfazed in any way. Unfazed. You get the sense that poison isn't good. Again, it is not a good choice. Well, she wouldn't have known that. Now she does. <laughs> now she does. She will. Uh, she'll go past Yinlin this time. And hide over there. <laughs> These are not small Stop creatures it. squeezing past you. Just as a reminder. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, Chant. Chant. Uh, can he retrieve his dagger? At this point, uh, it's. Down, like, in between Bo's feet. And as we just mentioned, Bo is not a small creature. All right. <laughs> He'll just punch then. It's the same damage. It doesn't matter. Uh, he's going to punch the one in front of him first time. Let's see what he can do. Oh, come on. That's twice now. Uh, 25 to hit with uh, another six piercing. All right, you punch this one back. The head just, you hear the next snap, and then it crumples to the ground. Hey, he will step on its body like his father. They're both now standing on the corpses. And, uh. It's the family way. Yeah, he'll punch the other one. Okay. Come on. It's 12. 12 still hits. Yeah. AC zombie. <laughs> yeah. That's nine piercing. Ooh. 
Nice. Uh, this zombie reacting to what hit it most recently rolls a 15 to hit chant. I think that misses. Uh, 15 should miss. Let me double check. Uh, that is a miss for sure. 19 AC. Okay. Uh, you kind of just sidestep out of the way. Helena. Excellent. You uh, see there's only one left. She'll look at it from over here and second guess what she wants to use. Uh, but, go yeah, well, that's, that's my best call right now anyway. Yeah, she doesn't have any kind of ranged other than spells, so Vicious Mockery one more time. See if this one's a little more okay. susceptible to the psychic damage. The one psychic damage that it would take. Its head shapes a little bit uh, yeah. as it takes the damage. Yeah. I'll show move out of the as way. As Helena steps back out of the way, Yinlin. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Oh, there's one dude left. Blast him. <laughs> oh. Saw that hover over a Just hovered on the 20, yeah. Mm -hmm. 13 will hit, though. Minimum damage. Minimum damage of 4. You've done enough damage to push fight. it. Yeah, I'm going to push it. Uh, you knock it prone. It's now inside of a sarcophagus. Bo. <laughs> All right, we got stuff to do. And he will attack it with his glaive. With advantage, because it's prone inside a sarcophagus. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> no natural 20. 23. <laughs> yep. He's, he's going to, like, stab down. As you do. As he does. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah. another 15 damage right to its chest. Oh, yeah. Bo is definitely the person you want to land the last hit on a zombie. <laughs> uh, As he I'll... turns the uh, <laughs> saving throw, uh, DC for Undead Fortitude into typically 20 plus. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry. One yep. I am going to throw a guiding bolt at that fella there. The okay. one in the center of the room there. Yeah, you can just make him out. That'll be should be good. Oh, That's no. funny, baby. Ow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Holy God! God. <laughs> All right, oh we're gonna do thirty-six God. damage to 36. him. Level two. <laughs> Level two. <laughs> uh, okay, we're back so on. Just in case uh, it didn't get picked up, uh, Yinlin was attempt was uh, gonna be checking out this other room that uh, Chance had previously opened and walked away from. Perfect. Looked at and then walked away from. Love it. Uh, but you're looking around the room and you just see there's an empty, dusty sarcophagus. Hmm. I, uh, I approach it and I lift up the top of it if I can. Uh, yeah. Or, you're, is, it, or is, it, is it like empty? It's, uh, it's dusty and empty. But if you want to, you were just doing a, a, a casual sweep of the room. If you wanted to do something more thorough, you're, you can just go. Yeah, yeah. I want to lift open the top and just like ensure that it's empty and. Yeah. Check the uh, give me an of it. investigation. Kyle, can we throw um, somebody in the room with him so people can see? Yes. Uh, we'll put Violet there. Cause she's closest. Sure. 16. So, as you're feeling, as you're looking around uh, and you put your hand on the bottom of the sarcophagus, you actually feel that it gives a little bit. 
and you kind of just punch, and your hand goes right through a false bottom hmm. of inch thick plaster. And below that plaster is a cavity that contains a long, dead, and dried out mummy floating in a shallow pool of red brine that has two moonstones in one embedded in each eye socket. Uh, and what? there's a slight bump uh, in the center of its chest, even though everything is uh, dried out. What is that? I'm gonna reach down and try to pull the gemstones out of its eyes. Okay. And they pop out, no problem. And you said there's like a lump in the center of its chest? There's a, yeah, there's a lump in the center of its chest. Um, I have a dagger. I'm gonna kind of pull that out and... Okay. So you start carving. Yeah. Uh, and you... <clears throat> You pull out a bag. Hmm. Pull a bag that fits in the palm of your hand. Here inside of it. There's some beans inside of it. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I didn't write the adventure. Those are in there? The mummy the mummy underneath the thing that I had a false bottom. Happen to have a bag of beans. So now here's the important question. Does the guest have his character keep the beans? Or does he give them to the players that are here all the time? That is so, a question. That's uh, something for the guest to decide. <laughs> there are um, going to... There's seven beans inside of it. Oh, my God. Okay. I am going to pocket the jewels. Okay. And turn around and just be like... You guys want this bag? Uh, of course Violet's I want the bag. What do you mean? For... Oh no, she Violet's followed him. She she's purposes. she's loving uh, this guy. She followed him. Okay. So you want the Violet wants the bag? Oh yeah, I'll take the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Not sure what's about them, but there's beans. Beans. <laughs> Does she have any idea? What the beans could be. Uh, for Violet, mm -hmm. I would say no. She I can't make a check or anything at all? Can she, dis uh, can she determine if they're magical in nature? You can give me an arcana for that. Okay. If she doesn't have identify or detect magic. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Does the side of magic disorder? No. <laughs> Every spell she has does damage. Uh, arcana check. She's proficient in arcana. Big ol' plus two. Let's see. Uh, there is definitely some magic radiating off of each and every bean. She will quietly pocket the beans, look at Yinlin, and with a look of like, don't say anything. And she will, yeah, she'll pocket them and she'll walk back out to the family. Would she have noticed him pocket the gems? Um... Well, they were in front of him. I think. Give me a sleight of hand check, Yunlin. And I'll give you advantage because she likes the bag of beans. What's her uh, her passive perception? Oh, I don't think it's high enough for that. I think it's like a nine. It's really bad. Yeah, nine. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. No, you. Uh, you po su he successfully pocketed the. That's fine. Uh, moonstones. She wouldn't have cared. Okay. Yeah, she'll walk back out and and uh, there's nothing of no in the uh, room that had the zombies, other than you know zombies. There's a door at the end of the hallway, though. There's a door at the end of the hallway, and uh, if you go back through the flooded chamber, there is a set, a different set of stairs that also yeah. goes up into a different dry section. Bo, so obviously, uh, coming down from his rage, will uh, check this quickly. Open this door at the end of the hallway. Let's take a look. Okay. Violet's definitely in the middle of the pack, not at the back end. Oh, Champ grabbed his dagger back, of course. Yes. 
Uh, as you open this door and take a peek inside, uh, the walls and floor of this room are covered with streaks and splashes of dried blood. There's two dangling bodies that are shackled on the to the east and southern walls. One is an elderly male human, and the other is a young female tiefling. Both are covered in bloody dashes, and neither is moving. In the middle of the room is a sturdy wooden chair with a bloody whip draped over it, as well as half a bucket half filled with salt sitting on the floor nearby. Can he determine that they were tortured? Yeah, you can definitely put two and two, two together. Okay. All right. Whoever did this, well, we know who did this. Uh, someone checked the bodies. If they were important enough to be tortured instead of just killed, maybe they know something or knew something. Uh, whoever wants to can give me a medicine check. I think Helena would probably be best. Maybe Violet. I'll double check. I got a plus one. I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, Yenlin, you go up. Uh, the male human is dead. However, the female tiefling is unconscious but stable. Uh, the tiefling's still alive. Okay. Um, well, not who I would want to heal if I don't need to. But let's let's see if she'll respond. Uh, tiefling are fine. I just can't heal too mo too often. That's all. <laughs> oh, I can heal then. All right. She said she, you said she's stable. Stable, but just unconscious. Yeah. Um. I've got my healing light that I can use. I've got three d6 of that. So. Yeah. Give her one. Yeah. Ooh. Dang. Four hit points. You brought her up to full. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> uh just looking at the at your group, you're you don't seem to be part who are you? Better question is who are you? Thank you. Um my name is Vendetta Cress. Sorry, that's an awesome name. That is an awesome name. I work for the Othun family. Ah. All right, what's going on with these families? The second one we found here. Yes, um, myself and uh, FNX. He works for the Jasso family. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they were a bit rougher on him. Uh, both of them are still shackled to the wall, still. So. Yeah, um, do any of my keys fit their restraints? Yes. So you're able to easily unshackle them. Yeah. yeah unshackle her, at least, and uh, I'm not going to waste my time with that guy. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh. Thank you. And she's just rubbing her wrists. Um, and just looks with a bit of um, just like terror at that bloody whip on the chair. What did they want with these families? I mean, I don't know, but I just worked on a caravan for them to trade. But they are at least the Othun and Jasso families as well as the Phantom Per family are the three most well off within the city. Yeah, that's what he said as well. Well, uh, how many of them did this to you? They took turns. Uh, only one person at a time, but it, I'd say there were four or five people that just went in a cycle day after day. Well, we've taken out most of them so far. Um, do you know the way out of here? I don't know the way out. Um, 
but what I do know is that every now and then I heard what sounded like a heavy stone door scraping open and closed from time to time, as well as the sounds of splashing footsteps coming from the north of this room. What direction okay. did you hear the stone door from? Uh, she just she points to the door to the north of this small chamber, and that it uh, from beyond that door. Hmm. All right, my vote, Yinlin, if you're uh, if you're on board, is we help them out of here. We see where that other path goes briefly, try to clear out what we can, and then make our way back here. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll help you out of here. Uh, <laughs> do you know anything else about the cult here? I just heard rumors, but I didn't think they would actually I'd actually be one of them, one of the people that was taken. Again and again, you never do. Alright, well, we're glad you're alive, and we're going to do what we can to clear out this threat. So am I. Thank you. What is... What are your names? Who are you? We're the, we're the Moonleafs, <laughs> uh, and this is, this is Yinlin. We're all here from the Flaming Fist. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she makes her way up out of the bathhouse. Uh, as you make your way back down, uh, the other pathway, eventually, um, do you want to go up the stairs, or do you want to go down and around the corner from where you fought the Necromancer? Up the stairs from the flooded room or around the corner from the necromancer? Uh, well, I guess the necromancer would be on the way. Yeah. Right? So I guess we yeah. would poke around down there real quick first. Okay. I'll pop you over there. Drag the screen over. There we go. Um, so, there you see uh, is... Uh, a door as the hallway goes down and wraps up. There's a doorway in front of Bo, and then, I believe, yeah, there's another door uh, in the center of the curve going down from uh, just below where Yinlin's token is. Which so door? door if I, yeah, which door, if either, would you like to uh, open? Uh... I'll certainly try to open this one really slowly and peek in what's inside. Okay. You peek in, and there's a curious little rat that's just like... looking at you. Does it seem like there's anything else in the room? Uh, you can give me a perception check. Uh, nine. Ten. Ten. Uh, you'd have to step in. There is a little, there's a short hallway, like ten feet long, before you get into the room where the rat is. Uh, but the rat's kind of just stirring around, goes off to the side at one point before coming back. So it seems like maybe there's a hallway off to the, uh, the left side of the room. Um, I'm just gonna close the door and Explain what I saw. No small room. Little rat going in and out. Possibly a hallway off to the side. Okay. Uh, anything interesting looking? Not that I could see. Right, the fact that there's possibly more to go there. This place just crawls on. Um, well, let's... um. Let's look the other way, too. See what's more worth okay. checking out. Bo, you open the door in front of you. And there you see an altar at the end uh, at the end of a hallway as it opens up into a small room. Uh, and, then the st and then stairs that you could roughly estimate would go down back into the flooded chamber uh, that had the gas build up. Oh, okay, so it just leads back. 
Yep. Uh, but there is an altar in this room, so there's some stuff in here that maybe you had missed. Okay. Yeah, Bo, Bo will just check out the altar. It's fine. All right. Uh, as you go into the room, uh, this is a dry, partially collapsed room that contains a stone altar with humanoid skulls and bones piled all around it. Atop the altar, uh, it's covered with dozens of half-melted candles made of black wax that are all currently lit. Uh, and as these candles are lit, they shed a green light that reveals black writing on the walls. Uh, and in common, it says, rise and be counted. Hmm. Gross. As, uh, as, as the, the writing of the man or just their way in, writing. would anybody say those words? Well, not chant. Um, <laughs> I mean, you say it like that, and we want to say no, but I mean, Bo would have probably, like, well, if everyone's looking at it, everyone can read it, right? Yeah. Uh, but would Bo say it as everyone's approaching? Yeah, I think he would in a like, questionable manner. Uh, as you say that, behind you, uh, you hear the shambling of bone as three skeletons rise up, stand at attention, and just look at Bo. The rest of the group walks in, they, their focus shifts from person to person, and then they go back and just focus on Bo. Hmm. All right. Are you, uh, are you here to serve? He you can give points. me an insight check on the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Bo will make an insight check on a skeleton. <laughs> 16. Uh, based on their posture and the fact that they keep going back to you, it seems like the skeletons are under your command. All right, well, everybody, we've got a disposable... Shields, all right. Lead the <laughs> way. Cannon fodder. <laughs> Lead the way. He gestures them down this stair. Or no, well, he knows where that goes. That goes back to where we started, right? Uh, that goes back just to on the way to that torture room. Well, we'll uh, he'll have them lead the way down there and back towards this other pathway we were going to check out. Although, wait, no, there's this other one we just did with the rat. Yinlin, do you think that it's worth going towards where the rat was? I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, we have these at our disposal, so let's go for it. All right. He'll send one. He'll send the three of them in front of him and walk his way into this other area. Oh. Okay. Oh, I went too far. Uh. <laughs> I'm just. Um, I'm not even attempting to move things in roll twenty, other than the screen. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I I've got control over them, anyways. Yeah. Um. So. Let me get back to some descriptions here. Um, if anything, well, for the sake of brevity, if uh, anything I in interesting happens, uh, like that needs your immediate attention, we'll then we'll move your yeah your tokens. That's fine. Uh, but there is a little rat in the room who scurries away when it sees the skeletons coming. Um. And as you go off to the side, there you see there are stairs that go down to a partially flooded but also partially collapsed uh, tunnel that ends in a door. As you send the uh, skeletons through, it, it goes into a fully flooded room. Uh, 
and there are four rotting wooden beams that rise from the murky water to brace the ceiling as rubble is piled in the northwest corner containing nothing of interest. Hmm. Uh, there's a hallway that goes off to the north in which there is a murky, foul-smelling water that surrounds an open stone sarcophagus resting in the middle of this crypt. Its stone lid line broken into three pieces under the water to the north of it. Do we see anything in the water? Uh, there's just the lid, uh, but if you inspect the lid fragments, uh, you see that it was carved to have the likeness of a screaming axe-wielding barbarian. Ew. Uh, and the exposure to the dampness here has rotted the bones within the sarcophagus, reducing them to nothing but black sludge. Uh, right. So there was another pathway out of this room, though? No. Uh, no well, there was a path that, uh, that no other pass from any of the okay. rooms out of there. So you come to another dead end. All right. Back to the one other pathway we haven't taken. <laughs> Okay. And you just go down the stairs and you find yourselves back in the flooded room that smells like eggs. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then there was the staircase that went up out of that, right? That was, uh, you're coming down the stairs that were going up from the... Oh, that's the right. That's where we just were. Okay, so we yeah. literally we only have not gone where she said. Through this door, yeah. How does Vendetta feel about the skeletons that approach her? Uh, Vendetta left. You brought oh, her that's back right. to the... <laughs> right, never mind. Level. That's right. Bummer. Uh, uh, you have the skeletons open the door? Are you just are they able to open the, the door? Yeah, they have digits. They have fingers. Oh, I assumed that it was like a heavy door based on what she said sound-wise. Uh, must this be door further is in. just like yeah, a gotcha. similar rotted. Yeah, they'll make their way in. Whatever she's describing was different. Uh, so the skeletons start making their way through. And as they round the corner. I can't see, unfortunately. You... No, I know. As they round the corner, you hear... Oh, shit! Ugh. Fucking Merkel. Oh, why, why did they just let these things roam around? Uh, as it seems the skeletons have run into a cult member. Everyone against the walls, Bo says really quietly. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to put himself like here, and they're all going to position themselves like out of sight. And he's going to call the, the skeletons back down the tunnel into the room and see if anyone follows. Ready to attack if they do. Okay. Everyone's readying something? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, you all hear footsteps, and you there's just... Oh, my gosh. Uh, Finnery, is that you? I know you're, you want to have uh, your own personal guard and whatnot, but aren't your skeletal rats enough? Oh. And they just round the corner and everyone can unleash, uh, including Bo, the skeletons. <laughs> Bow and Chant definitely want to attack at the same time. Okay. <laughs> it, cause, just because they're in the front, Bo would stab with the glaive, well, you know, attack with the glaive, whatever motion that may be. Uh, this one... Uh, you would have advantage uh, because <laughs> surprise. Well, natural 20 then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's... Let's see if she's still standing. That is 20 damage. Oh. <laughs> uh, she, uh, okay. And then Chant? Chant will... Well, he probably only gets one attack, right? Yeah. Okay. He'll... He, you know, he'd stab. He, he's feeling stabby. Twenty-three hits. This dice went on a journey. Uh, sorry, it's like lagging. Oh, there we go. The dagger. Do uh, seven points of damage. Oh, that does it. Yeah, you'd 
They just block around the corner. How many? Why? Why? Oh. Slice. Stab. Crumples to the ground as the skeletons proceed to just stab, 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 shoot it with arrows. <laughs> <laughs> At the dead body. Uh, and then the body slides 10 feet away on the ground. <laughs> uh, Bo sends the skeletons back in ahead and follows closely. Okay. Uh, I will move Bo so you can see, but we'll, cool. just, we'll just remember that the skeletons are in front, and yep. then same with the inland. Uh, More inland, doors. I'll put you here. More <laughs> doors. Um, so there, um, let me double check one thing. So you've now gone up out of the room, and now instead you're, you come back south a little bit, and you're off to the, off to the east of the, the torture room. Um, He'll have one skeleton check each door, one at a time. Uh, as you, as you, uh, do you listen to any of the doors? I was supposed to say, do any of them sound like stone or seem like stone? Yeah. None of them true. look to be made of stone. Uh, just this one, you hear, uh, just light breathing sounds as if, uh, people are sleeping. But no sound from the other two? No sounds from the other ones. Well, uh, I don't think we need to leave any of these people alive. Sorry, I'm going to try that again. Well, I don't think we need to leave any of these people alive. Well, I don't know if there's much use in starting a fight that doesn't need to be had. True. Yeah. Well, let's check the other doors. Uh, yeah, there's no sound coming from any of the other ones. Do you want to just open them? Yeah, Bo sends one skeleton to each one. One at a time. Okay. Uh, so this room to the south opens the door, and there is a sarcophagus inside. Uh, and you're greeted by the following scene. Uh, there are four torches that flicker in wall sconces, illuminating this crypt, in the middle of which is occupied by an open stone sarcophagus. It bears no carvings or, or other ornamentation, but is full of humanoid skulls and bones, as well as six dusty bedrolls lie on the floor around it. Uh, you get the sense that maybe this is the uh, where the Mercolites would rest. This is a really lame camp. <laughs> the room to of the northern door that Yinlin is heading towards. Uh, there are, again, four flickering torches in wall sconces that light this partially collapsed crypt, but there's an open sarcophagus in the middle of this area filled to the brim with blood, with spillage streaking the, down the sides of the sarcophagus and pooling around its base. The sarcophagus lies half buried, uh, uh, the sarcophagus lid lies half buried under the rubble. We got, we got skulls and skeletons in a crypt. We've got blood in a crypt. Uh, and We've been sacrificing many people. You hear in there, uh, Yinlin. Which way did uh, he go? I'm sorry. He went uh, to the up. Oh, areas. gotcha. I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, um, you hear a little coming from inside the sarcophagus. Like bubbles? Yep. And as you look down, there is a frail old woman laying in this blood in an unconscious state. Do we, do we pull her out? Let's check what else is here first. There's one more door, right? One more door that you heard the sounds of people breathing in their sleep. Did this stairway go back to where we came from? Mm hmm Oh, that's how we came up. Okay, yeah. Oh, th this is the last thing then, other than the people sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Elena? 
Oh, wow. Um, huh. Can she ascertain anything um, magical about the blood itself or anything? Uh, give me an arcana check. Okay. Working on it. No. Yeah, blood is we, uh, just blood from sacrifices. You assume. Everyone, be at the ready. I'm gonna kind of pull her out. As you pull her out, uh, <gasps> oh, mm. oh, uh, uh, are you, are you here to help? Are you here to bring me home? Who, who are, are you? you? Sure. Yeah, who are you? Oh. Question. My name is Nebra. Do you happen to work for a big family? I'm, a, I'm just a florist. Interesting. They... Can I incite this woman? Yes. Thirteen. Uh, oh, she's lying. And you see, uh, she's as Yinlin is pulling her up. You get, you see, just a glint of uh, reflective light against a, a dagger that she has behind her back. Bo would like to uh, shove her back down in. I don't. I don't think that's what she wants. I think that's where she wants to be. Uh, and then stab her. Okay. <laughs> that's just his reaction. <laughs> that's what he would do. And uh, I guess she is uh, technically prone. <laughs> I don't know if we should kill her inside of there, but he's not a thinking in that moment. Okay. Uh. Does the 17, 17 hit her? Hit. Okay. Dealing. Uh, he's not raging. Seven points of damage. Oof. Yeah, no. Uh, so you stab the glaive in, and it's kind of stuck in her a little bit. As you pull her up, uh, her oh, yeah. form completely shifts from being this frail old woman to... Instead, she is now wielding a dagger in her hand as she's just this black cloaked individual. You can't even make out any features. Oh fuck! Go ahead and roll for initiative. Oh boy, can is everyone in this room? And uh, we'll we'll bring everybody over. Um, the skeletons are hanging out. How can we? Oh gosh, such a tiny space. Okay. Yeah. Would uh, the kids be in there with you? Or no? They would be right outside, probably. Outside. Chant would be the closest. I do have to bring this up. I'm, I don't have any time constraints, but we are hitting our second hour. Yep. Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. Chant's closer. Uh, okay. The question, I guess, Kyle, is, is uh, this all that's left here? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then why don't we not? This part will, this thing right now, we can end with. Okay. Uh, and then one other roll afterwards. Okay. Okay. And we'll do this track. Actually, we'll do this. What'd you say? Oh, track. Sorry, it's setting up Sirenscape. Okay. That is All right. much louder than everything else has been. Okay, one sec. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta balance all this. Okay, that should be fine. This is a track that I didn't get to use because you did. Nobody touched the raging barbarian suit to activate the spectral axe trap. Yeah, fun. <laughs> uh, Chant, you win initiative. That's right. Uh, he's gonna hit it. 
and try okay. to do as much damage as he can. So he will be attacking and then using a key point for some flurry of blows, assuming it's still alive, which I am assuming it will be still alive. Does the 18 hit? Okay. Uh, the 18 does hit. Okay. Check one thing. Okay. Okay. Seven piercing. Still up. How does it feel about the piercing damage? Piercing feels fine. Okay. Uh, well, it. <laughs> yeah, piercing goes through fine. Uh, okay, so flurry blows. Two more. Those both hit. 19 and a 22. Sorry, it's lagging behind for me. Alright, damage rolling. It's an 8 and a 6, so there you go. 14 points of damage. And you oh. successfully kill it. Oh. Big old combat. I was hoping to get the drop on you. It did not. <laughs> uh, and... You've checked all the doors. Yep. They've all been made of wood. Yep. But Vendetta Crafts mentioned that it was stone sliding open and closed. Uh, yeah. Give me, if you don't, I assume you don't want to fight the sleeping people in the other room. Right. Uh, Can... Give me a group, or give me perception checks from everybody. I was just going to say. Everybody uh... a check in. Bo, you know that wants to. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say they would have tried to see if the these either one of the sarcophagus were like loose, on the ground. Mm -hmm. That can be involved in the check. Okay. So we'll take the first one. Uh, uh, none of the sarcophagi are loose or movable. Okay. However, move you back over here. Uh. This corner of the hallway, as you you're checking anything and everything, uh, you find that there's a portion of the door. You find a little slit that you can just get your fingers in and slide open to the side. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Violet definitely checks that woman's body that we killed too. Okay. Uh, you find another dagger. Uh, and double checking one thing. A small silver mirror that looks to be mundane other than maybe it's used as a spell component. What you know for what spell? Or some thought of what spell it could uh, be? Uh... Give me a Arcana check. Okay. Eleven. Yeah. Um, it's not one that she knows. Sure. I don't believe. Um. Actually. But it's one. This is if I. Uh. It's not one that she's seen either. Okay. Um. I will get you that name in a bit. It's fine. But yeah, uh, you find a secret doorway that leads into another flooded chamber that you can send the skeletons through first. Uh, and this is the very last chunk of the the dungeon. The yeah. Dungan. The dungeon. The dungeon. Do you wish to? Uh, Try to finish up the dungeon. Um, sanctuary. It's the material component for sanctuary. Just because There's we really have really only one other thing. Um, if I take a minute, maybe. Okay. I'll come back in a minute. I'll let you know. Uh, you how long do we think we would be? AirPods here. I'm not using them now. <laughs> okay. Because um, they died. There's, ooh, actually, there's two other things. Yeah. So, there's two things up. that will be, uh, we'll we'll have to hold off until next time as we finish this dungeon. Yeah, if we didn't also uh, have the game later and stuff the, too, then probably. But session four. 
no one in the session floor yeah. with us. You've uh, been in uh, double the episodes that we've done alone already. <laughs> it's fine with me. Thanks for thanks for yeah, joining totally in. Fine. It's been a blast. Yeah, that's been fun. Oh man. Oh boy. Yeah. So uh, I'll go ahead and move tokens around so that way everyone's lined up. Uh, all right. Well, but, thanks yeah, for uh, be... anyone that tuned in. Sorry for all the technical things. We had to uh, run a different setup today that we will not be doing in the future because my computer is not happy <laughs> with yeah, the no. running Discord uh, and hopefully we'll be able to... OBS. Hopefully it'll be much smoother because uh, my previous computer, part of it, caught on fire. Literally on so... fire, yes. Yep. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'll be getting a replacement for that. Uh, that'll also mean, for those of you that enjoy listening to the podcast as well as tuning in for the live stream, that computer comes tomorrow, and that's usually <laughs> the day I do my edits. So there'll be a delay in release of that. Potentially, but yeah. Thank, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll actually... Quick little note here. We'll see you next time for uh, Descent into Avernus on Sunday, but believe this coming Monday's the, uh, this coming uh, Friday's the 24th, right? Oh, um, yes, that's yes, right. Sir. Yes, then, exciting uh, news. Then you'll see us on back on Twitch on Friday evening as uh, just for fun. We've got a game that's been going for a while running through uh, Tyranny of Dragons. Uh, they are the players are just starting the Rise of Tiamat portion. Yeah. So we'll be uh, live streaming that, but uh, Descent into Avernus will be the only thing that's on the podcast. So it's just a little extra if you want to, if you um, need a little extra serving of RPGs and you need to get your fix later and in the us. week as well. Uh, also, and I us, only yes, I only have to run one character in that game, so uh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> so uh, you'll see. Zeus, Earl, and I again on Friday. Yeah. And then uh, also all three of us again, again on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>